Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Today, I'd like to discuss how AMC's discovery of trillions of dollars in Feds will shortly cause the entire US stock market to collapse. These Feds are not exclusive to AMC. They exist across the complete market and are produced by European hedge funds. Therefore, remain tuned and let's earn some cash. And now we will present the essential information. Therefore, Roger Hamilton tweeted, these Clearstream reports posted by Wes Christian indicate that 2022 Feds in Europe will total $732 trillion, including all EU transactions on U.S. exchanges. Over 10% of all EU trades on U.S. markets and over 58% of the total dollar value failed to resolve FTT. European funds are failing to execute on 10% of their trades or 58% of the total value of their trades. He said, Wes believes that the majority of naked short selling occurs across international borders to conceal the paper trace. South Korea established its naked shorting task force after discovering that 84% of all cases involved foreign funds. He stated that if the SEC established a short selling task force similar to their crypto task force, they would soon discover the same thing, and such a task force would be 100 times more valuable in protecting retail investors. Now you may say, hold on Tom, rewind. Hold on a moment. How precisely are these US hedge funds able to engage in short selling and non-delivery of US stocks without being caught? And how severe is the damage? This investigation was conducted by sending Freedom of Information Act requests to numerous EU hedge funds and EU regulators regarding their short selling and FTT transactions. Now, this investigation begins with his conclusion, which is as follows. After sending dozens of Freedom of Information Act requests to regulators in Europe, the Far East and Canada, I am left with this question, along with the possibility that I have uncovered the largest financial regulatory scandal in history, which is costing stock market investors, publicly traded companies, and the United States government collectively trillions of dollars. Then asks, why did I submit European regulators a Freedom of Information Act request? According to him, GameStop and AMC are two publicly traded companies in the United States that are extensively held by retail investors worldwide. Given the calamity of the GameStop 3 for 1 share issue and the AMC chimpanzee dividend, it appeared, at least outside the United States, that there was either anecdotal evidence or copious amounts of evidence of counterfeit shares. Given the volume of complaints from shareholders who did not receive their eight dividend or who received it weeks late or were instead offered a cash substitution for their eight shares, he stated that a cash replacement should be offered. Therefore, he hypothesized that the problem of synthetic short selling in foreign countries could be substantially worse than in the United States. In response, he sent a large number of Freedom of Information Act requests to EU or European regulators requesting their FTT numbers. He said on the regulatory side, what he discovered was startling. He said European hedge funds are not permitted to synthetically short European shares, but European hedge funds are not prohibited from synthetically shorting American shares, he said. There is no comparable rule or regulation, at least for European Union-traded US-issued shares or depository receipts. And according to him, the European Union short-selling regulation exempts any restrictions on naked shorting when the primary venue for trading shares is located in a third country outside the European Union. In a separate judgment, broker-dealers and market makers who use a central securities depository are exempt from paying any penalties for failing to deliver U.S. securities. Because these European hedge funds are not discovered or fined for any of their U.S. FETs, this effectively creates the possibility for perpetual failure. And he stated that Euroclear Bank, a global CSD with a direct connection to the DEC, reported 183 trillion euros in FEDs. However, Clearstream Banking Southeast, the German CSD, reported 576 trillion euros in failed settlements. Where is Christian now? These screenshots and data were provided in response to a Freedom of Information Act request, and the failure to deliver securities is noted here. There were 52 million failed settlements with a total value of $576 trillion. You might argue, Tom, why should I care about European hedge funds and European market makers neglecting to deliver U.S. securities? 
This is due to the fact that a large number of American market makers and broker merchants separate European legal entities. Citadel Securities, Ireland Limited is in order. International Bank of Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs Bank, Europe, Europe, Morgan Stanley, Limited to Susquehanna International Securities, Ireland's Virtu Financial Limited, also others. All of these same U.S. market makers, such as Citadel and Virtu, have European entities that engage in naked short selling, and they get away with it because these European firms are not required to disclose or be fined for these hundreds of millions, if not billions or trillions of fats. In addition, many of these European regulators only follow the minimum standard model, which entails monitoring fats on an aggregated market-wide basis rather than on an individual company basis. Therefore, these effectively U.S. market makers are permitted to synthetically short sell U.S. securities such as AMC and GameStop without fear of being discovered, fined, or even having their individual FATs monitored in Europe. Therefore, this is likely how hedge funds and market makers have gotten away with synthetically shorting AMC and GameStop for such a long time, as they are not doing it directly from the United States. Instead, they are doing so from their European offices. As this involves trillions of dollars in FETs, it is also precisely what will cause the collapse of the entire U.S. stock market when the truth is revealed. Now, Charles Gasparino tweeted, This is my response to this. He stated, There is no evidence of a rigged market, which I find utterly hilarious given that the SEC has issued fines for synthetic short selling not just in the last few months, but for the past 10 to 15 years in a row. Also, an increasing number of bank employees are admitting explicitly to synthetic short selling, such as the Morgan Stanley employee in the video who says he does it every day. In 2016, Goldman Sachs was charged with this ingenious new method of violating short selling regulations. They have this entire staff hidden away in a rear office. When a client requests to borrow a stock, the team would use computers to autonomously search their inventory for the requested item. He stated that a gamma compression is momentum gains. These typically result from call options concluding in the money or in the pocket, leading to substantial purchases or purchases in that market. However, a brief squeeze is intense and can escalate without warning. This is where you see gains of 100% within seconds and minutes, he said. A short squeeze can result in gains between 1,000 and 10,000% in a single day. Therefore, when AMC runs to 10, 15, 20, 30, or 40 dollars, this is likely a gamma compression portion. But when AMC shares reach 100 dollars, 500 dollars, 1,000 dollars, or $2,000 per share, this is unquestionably the short squeeze. With the short squeezing portion, you see significantly greater improvements in a significantly shorter amount of time, due to it being a matter of seconds, minutes, or hours. However, please let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, gentlemen, be sure to ring the notification chime so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. Cheers!